Farming is big business across America. More than 2 million farms spread across some 900 million acres. Many tractors are equipped with technology that companies like Google are planning to put on the road. Adriana Diaz is in Bondurant, Iowa, with the tools of the future that farmers are using today. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. Using GPS satellites thousands of miles in space, these 15-ton machines are able to steer themselves. As long as the driver is in the cabin, the machine can take over, something car companies have been trying to accomplish for years. While automakers race alongside Google to design the self-driving car of the future, here in the heartland, farmers have long enjoyed hands-free technology. When you see all of the press coverage and excitement about self-driving cars, do you think to yourself, we've been doing this for years? Yeah, we all kind of chuckle about that. John Teeple runs John Deere's technology group. The farm equipment company has been making machines that drive themselves for almost 15 years. Instead of keeping their hands on the wheel, multitasking farmers can focus their attention on business. They're making decisions not just about what's happening in the field that they're operating in. They're making decisions about their whole operation from the cab of that tractor. My grandfather uh, pulled his equipment with horses. Randy Madden is a fourth generation farmer who uses driverless machines to work his 2,500 acres of corn. Do you remember the first time that you were able to take your hands off the wheel? I do, yes. I've, uh, I, 10, 12 years ago, it's a watershed moment in, in our uh, farming life. Here's how it works. A driver programs the route, and the GPS-based technology does the driving down to the inch, avoiding missed spots and repetition. It's designed to save time, fuel, and money, though assisted driving can cost up to $20,000 per machine. We tried out the technology for ourselves at John Deere's Iowa Test Farm. So now it just took over control? Yep. It's turning by itself? Yep. No hands. No hands. <laughs> the driver still has to be at the wheel because with no outside sensors, the only way to avoid a collision is if a human intervenes and takes the controls. Why has this technology existed in industrial settings uh, sooner than on actual roads? These machines are operated on private, private land uh, in, in remote locations. So certainly the challenges associated with rush hour traffic aren't a, aren't a challenge when you're operating a tractor uh, in a 100 acre field in, in central Iowa. But as farming becomes more automated, agricultural jobs may be on the line. And moving farm equipment online may make operations vulnerable to glitches and hacks, though John Deere says it has encrypted security measures in place. Ba, ba, ba. Homeowners may be next to get a helping hand. John Deere is developing self-driving lawnmowers in Europe, while car makers and Google rush to get autonomous cars on the road. Does Google ever call to ask for advice? I don't know if they call and ask for advice, but we definitely have talked to Google on a, on a few occasions. Involving what? A variety of different technology topics. Proprietary information. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> John Deere says fully driverless tractors are at least a decade away. At that point, farmers will be able to focus fully on running their business instead of running tractors like this one. Gail? Fascinating stuff. Thank you, Farmer Diaz.